Hello friends. Today I am showing you the importance of configuring stock interim accounts when you are using the valuation part. So here I have configured a new category trade type where I have configured average costing method inventory valuation as an automated and then it will enable me the stock properties to set up where I have given stock valuation as inventories account and setting up stock input and stock output account. Okay. So now if I am making any purchase, uh, let's say I have done, you know, uh, automated make to order type. So if I am selling this product, Ten units it will automatically create a purchase order for me right at the rate of 15 which I have configured in my product master here side by side I would also love to show you the impact on accounts Currently, everything is blank. There is no transactions. As soon as I confirm the order and going to receive this item, 10 units, validate it. System is going to create a journal entry. And those journal entry will hit my stock received interim account where it is crediting 150 rupees because 15 rupees multiply by 10 unit and then my main inventory account has been debited with 150 because one of this is coming into inventory now okay still now i haven't done any vendor bill as soon as i create my vendor bill it will hit uh, the stock interim account debit and then my payable accounts let's see so now i am creating a vendor bill you can see stock interim you know received interim debit and creditors 150 okay so as soon as i give a bill date that is let me put today's date and then i am refreshing my trial balance again so you can see inventory is debit because 150 rupees stock is still in my warehouse whereby stock received interim account is zero now and creditors account has been credited by 150 rupees this is one transaction now i am going to you know make delivery of my product so as soon as i make delivery of my product this is my sales order and my transfers i am validating this and then checking my trial balance so stock delivered account has been hit by 150 debit and my inventory is also credited because entire stock has been moving out so i have zero stock but i have delivered something which is not yet you know uh, billed to my customer not invoiced and as soon as i create customer invoice it will do the journal entries okay local sales to debtors and my confirm and it will hit my stock delivered 150 credit and then cost of goods sold 150 and then debtors okay as per my sales amount of thousand so here now checking the trial balance again you can see stock is zero stock received zero stock interim zero debtors thousand because yeah i am owning uh, from my customer and i have to pay to my creditors so my local sales account is thousand hit and cost of goods sold is 150 so if you check your pnl you have clear idea your operating income thousand and then your cost of goods sold is 150 so you are making a revenue okay of 850 now the importance is if if 
if anything is going to happen and customer is returning this item to you so how it will create the impact on our account i am going again into trial balance okay so this is my entry where i have delivered to customer and customer is returning one unit to me okay and i am set quantities and validating it so how it will hit my account okay you can see stock delivered account has credited by 15 okay because that has created a reverse entry for stock delivered whatever i delivered it is coming back to me okay and then if i create a credit note it will do the counterpart also All right so this is how it will impact my transactions and vice versa if you know let me just create a credit note first so now to finish these transactions i will create a credit note partial refund the return of one unit then taking it to one unit as my return saving it and you can see the local sales is debited by 100 and debtors by 100 and see stock delivered again hit debited by 15 rupees and cost of goods sold credited so you can see the if you see the invoice part you can see stock delivered credited and cost of goods sold debited but when we are going back to our credit note stock delivered has been debited and cost of goods sold has been credited so this is how it will create impact of complete transaction of return as well as credit note see now it is again settled down with zero and the same way what i will do is i am going to send this item back to my vendor so first i will go to my receipt and then create a return of one unit to my vendor okay till i do not do and if i want to check my inventories you can come here and check your stock level one item is lying because it is a return of my uh, from my customers okay So on hand is one quantity as soon as I set quantity here and validate this and check my stock report okay now this is going out and stock valuation account has been performed if I go to account reporting trial balance we can see here This stock interim has been hit by 15 rupees and as soon as I create my uh, you know credit note to vendor it will again settle my accounts okay for one unit then if I check my so now stock accounts all zero and then my debtors 900 uh, you know for my customer because 100 uh, rupees credit note is there and then creditors 135 because i have written one item okay so this is how it will impact your entire transactions i have created this video because uh, i have faced some customers as query how it will hit my stock received interim and stock de delivered interim accounts because sometimes people are making mistake by setting single account to received and delivered and then it will create mess when we are having a return transactions thank you very much